Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches! Bitches. RuPaul's Drag Race Season 4, Episode 7! <laughs> first things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Try Wink.com slash Movie Bitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine! It's so theatrical. A oh, winner! You're playing for the rafters. Yeah, right. Oh, I'm... Just I was channeling Milan. A country boy. Just a country boy. In fact, Milan has gone home. In fact, she has. <laughs> and everyone walks into the workroom. And I mean, the beginning of the theme of the episode, which is let's all shit on Jiggly, yeah. starts right off the bat. I mean, it's been the theme for the past few episodes. It's really been but gearing this, up, but this one was particularly This was like bad. everyone yeah. piled on. Yeah. If last week was Willem's episode, this was the shit on Jiggly episode. It was like the opposite. <laughs> Do you think you're going to win the show? Well. That was an awkwardly long pause. I think Fifi or somebody is like, oh, were you nervous to lip sync against Milan? And, and Julie's like, no, because like I know that she's good, but also I know that like I'm great too. Yeah. And Fifi's like, no, because I know Milan is good, but then I know I'm good too. Well. It was like as if she wasn't even in the room. It was, yeah, it was insult. rude. It was really rude. Yeah, it was like, I would never say that, but I'm saying it to your face. <laughs> never. Ru comes in, and the mini challenge this week is that the library is open. And I was excited, and Why? then I was disappointed. I was yeah, excited! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The library's open! Oh, I love it, I love I'm it, I love it. I'm excited, and then I was like, one. oh. Yeah, no one was really very good at all. Because reading is what? Fundamental! There was no standout. Not one joke was like, yeah, that was really funny. I mean, Latrice made me laugh, and Sharon made me laugh. Right, but in at least one of their jokes. But it but still wasn't like, oh no. man, I'm gonna remember that one. Nope. Dina gets up there. At first, I thought she was gonna fake us out because she's like, okay, I'll try. I'm not very good at this. I thought she was gonna be like, hey, and like, yeah. but she didn't. She was just like, Sharon, you smell bad. Yep. I'm gonna try. I don't know how to really read that well, so. Does someone smell that? What? What is it? Oh, that's just Sharon. Well, I did sort of like, she's like, Latrice, you're a free man. Why are you still wearing <laughs> those yard sandals? That was kind of funny. Didn't she could have sold it more, but sure. it was kind of funny. Sure. And Jiggly was, I mean, she was, was talking okay, about Dina ashy being ashy and knees Chad. And she was like, oh, it's forever, forever 21, 21, not forever, forever 41. Because you're old. Bitches. So then Fifi, oh my god. This was hilarious for the wrong reasons. Fifi is terrible. Terrible. And has zero confidence. One of those things where it was like too many words and pauses were in the in the sentence, sure. right? So it's just like, oh, uh, uh. You know, Willem, I, I know you're talented at, you know, buying shoes, but are you talented at, you know, drag? You know, uh. But are you good at drag? <laughs> and it was silence. Like, when I got to Willem, he's like, uh, okay, like, what? <laughs> It needs a lot of work. You have to really finesse it to make it funny. Right. And she certainly did not do that. Something about label whores. Yeah. Like, oh, but you're just a whore. Sure. So, I don't know. Maybe there's a joke. But of course the problem is that that's Willem's joke. Sure. So it's not really funny when you're just pointing out like the joke that she self-effacingly does all the time. Right. And then, oh my god, the best one, she goes to share. What? I love how you rock the party city. That's where I got your Lady Gaga wig. <laughs> Fifi sucked. Yeah, that's where I got your Lady Gaga wig, and everyone's like, ah! <laughs> And Fifi's just like, like she walks off like, that, like, that, one yep. that was the best. <laughs> yeah. So then Willem was okay. Yeah. She, you know, she's uh, so she something shook to do about, like, yeah, 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 It wasn't yeah. just, you're fat, you're ashy. Right. Fifi, you are gorgeous. You catch the camera's eye from the right, but from the left, you snag it. Oh. <laughs> and this one was funny, too, with Chad, where she, like, pulls out, I think, Chad's business card? Right. Because it looks like Cher, but it's a Chad. You know, I want to see that outtake, where uh, she's like, oh, hold on, I got to go find this prop. Right, let me go find Chad's business card. That he brought with him. Yeah. It made, it made me laugh, because then it's like, oh, you're still on MySpace. And then Chad's was... It was like a long joke. She goes, hey, Jiggly, hey, come here. Jiggly, I love you. Come to Mother Dust. Come here. Come to me. Come, come over here. I'm not going to mention you. Come on. No, come to Mama. Come to Mama Bear. Come to me. I won't hurt you. Come yeah. come over here. Like, it's like, <laughs> like things are really, Jiggly's like, what the fuck? I'm not going to hurt you. Come here. I was like, what's, what's happening? Going on? And then it was like such a long process. And she goes, here, here's my dentist this card. Is <laughs> here's my dentist card. The word. Use it. <laughs> Hey, Jiggly, was your barbecue canceled? <laughs> <laughs> and 
Hey Jiggly, was your car in an accident? Because your grill is fucked! <laughs> Willem Bella loves to live his life and think that he's Carrie Bradshaw, but in the sequel, she'll be playing Scary Bradshaw. Oh. And then she calls uh, Willem Scary Bradshaw. Oh boy, that was bad. Uh, you know, with, you're probably going to get cast in your it's in the new sequel role. Is the sequel is Scary Bradshaw. <laughs> what? Why didn't anyone read The Five O'Clock Shadow? <laughs> right? Oh no, Latrice did. That is true. She went, Latrice went in. Hard. She went hard. She had the confidence. I think that's why yes. hers was the funniest. Yes, because the I, delivery. I wouldn't say they were the best jokes, but no. like she really commanded. Like she yes. does the like. Jiggly caliente, BMW body made wrong. <laughs> the jiggly BMW body made, made wrong. wrong. Like yeah. The way she says it. I think didn't that happen in a later library? Someone used that joke again, and it was like, oh, it wasn't even great when Latrice did it, but at least she like. <laughs> had the authority. <laughs> the authority. <laughs> exactly. Fifi O'Hara, although reading is fundamental, darling, you might learn how to spell first, you illiterate fuck. <laughs> you illiterate fuck. <laughs> Latrice's delivery was the most jujube style for me. Right. Or, you illiterate fuck. And then, and then, oh, Willem, you'll be playing, your next part will be as the big bad wolf. With the hairs, hairs of, of your, your chinny, chinny chin, chin chin. By the hair on your chinny chin chin. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, she goes, Sharon, I have two words for you. Sideshow freak. <laughs> and Sharon's just, just like, like, ah, yeah. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's me. I mean, yeah, I love it. Sideshow freak. Oh. <laughs> and last was Sharon Needles. Um, I don't know what that was. Sharon Needles. Needles. A lot of you girls like to clock me for painting my skin on the gray side, but I was inspired by your knees. <laughs> They're the same color as Willem's chin. But it's always good when you can read two people at once. Yes. That's all. Yes. yes. Get your jokes in. Yeah. And read yourself at the same time. What well, it doubles down on the joke where it's like, ah <laughs> 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 You're such a fat slut. After sex, you smoke hams. <laughs> so Latrice wins. Yeah. And the pit crew comes in in these little starfish oh my God, speedos, right. just like oh, okay. with this like board on yep, it, all yep. these names. And, and Rue announces that the maxi challenge is that they have to create their own magazine. Dragazine. Dragazine. <laughs> excuse me. She gets to assign everyone different magazine titles. She gives Jiggly Battle, Battle of the, the Bulge. Bulge. The fitness magazine. Maybe she tied in some sort of military thing. That would have been kind of fun. Maybe. Like she's like the general boot of- Boot camp. Yeah, exactly. There's Jiggly's something. boot camp. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to- Jiggle till you're- Jiggle till you drop. I don't know. There you go. Oh, I like that. They put in some jitterbug jokes. Oop. Because it's the 1940s. Maybe don't it's do that. World, it's the Great War. Right, there you go. Battle of the Bulge. Health and fitness. Jiggly oh. Caliente. <laughs> wow. Dita gets- Tastes like chicken. Yeah, the cooking, cooking magazine. And food, food and whatever, wine. Sure. Food and wine. <laughs> now, what kind of wine goes best with fried chicken? I like that. That would have that been, been, been fun. fun. Yeah, do food and wine. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. I would say a Pinot Noir. Goes best with fried chicken? Yeah, that'd be good. Cool. Or maybe a, a, a Grenache. Something, you want something a little more acidic to cut through the fatty, mm. you know, greasiness of the, the chicken. Sure. And Willem gets Sugar Walls. Yeah. Which is the home decor, decor. magazine. Yeah. Sharon gets Kitty Cat. It was weird that this didn't have a fun name. It was just Kitty Cat. Kitty Cat. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't Battle like of the Kitty Bulge. Girl or, like, yeah. Like Pussies. I don't know. There's pussies on Fire? Pussies. I would have loved that. Pussies on Fire. I was going to say that'd be a fun uh, like headline that she could have done. Like, your pussy's on fire. <laughs> right. Like, seven tips for cooling shampoos or something. Meow. <laughs> for cat lovers. Meow. <laughs> Kitty cats. <laughs> no, you know, she's like, nah, or whatever. And everyone's laughing and she's like, oh, fine. I love, love pussy. pussy. Of course you do. Everyone does. I love pussy. Yes, who doesn't? So then she gives sachet away to uh, Fifi. Are you trying to say something? Please do. <laughs> yes, get out, bitch. Please do leave. And then Chad gets Eleganza, the fashion magazine. 
should have been for Willem, I feel like. Makes sense. Yeah. She definitely should have given Chad the travel one so she could be on her safari. Uh, we will talk about it. And then Latrice for herself takes what's the tea, the celebrity gossip. Gossip. Bag. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about these, this challenge. The choices? Yeah. No, she definitely should have gone like National Enquirer. Enquirer. Right. <laughs> National Enquirer. Why can I say it? National Enquirer? That is hard. She should have gone the full like. An alien that pregnated me! Exactly. Like craziness, yes. like yes. over the top. I guess they probably couldn't give her any celebrities for well, the that covers. That was weird when Rue comes in, she's like, oh, you're making the gossip about yourself. It should be about celebrities, but it's like, but can I like make Say, fun of right. like, slander? I a mean, bunch of celebrities? it would have been fun to slander all of the judges. <laughs> That would have been a great angle. And then the cover is just Latrice with like a teacup just being like, what's the tea? You know, and, and, it's, just and it's just like, just like Michelle Visage had, you know, alien baby, like right. whatever. Santino's Rogaine secret. Oh, you yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, you balding bitch. That would have been <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so they're all sort of brainstorming in the workroom and, and Latrice is having no end of fun. The fuck do I know about working out? I know, right? <laughs> Shit! I know, right? <laughs> like she just it's really good. See, she finds it to be hilarious. I think you should make it funny. If you feel like you can get more with the serious route, I'd rather you have a consistent magazine that you can follow by. Fifi, shady. Should I be serious? I feel like I should be serious, and they're like, nah, girl, you should make it a comedy. Yeah, Chad is like, no, it should be funny. Everyone likes to laugh. Like, make it a joke, make it a joke. And Listen Fifi, to Chad. She's a professional. She's a prof Turns out Chad is a professional. Don't you know everyone wants to laugh? <laughs> Fifi is like, I mean, no, girl, because like, if you fail at a comedy, it'd be really bad. But, you know, you could do a serious. Like, she's kind of getting in her ear. Oh, maybe I should do it serious. I mean, and then there's just like fully footage of her being like, Basically, like, wow. like, I, like I'm so sick of her being here. I got rid of her now. <laughs> Essentially, she flew away on a broom. Uh, yes. Woo! I'm a mountain biking vampire oh, witch no. from the future. <laughs> Fuck my pussy with a rake, mom. Do 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 do. Did you want to help pack his bags? <laughs> I mean, she's pretty upfront about being manipulative. Like, she's talking to Willem, and she's just like, oh, I totally just fucking yeah. told her to make yeah. it serious. You want to help her out, pack her bags, go, go tell Bye, her. bitch, she's gonna leave. Basically, Willem's like, I love it, I think. Uh, like, I think Willem was definitely like, don't cross Fifi. Yeah. Like, don't listen to Fifi. Yeah. Fifi's not your friend. No. Um, and then Dita, oh my god, how many times do we think Dita said chicken in this episode? A thousand. I have taste like chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. What chicken? Chicken. Chicken? Chicken. How am I supposed to make chicken? Chicken. It was like Raven. I think I could sell ice to an Eskimo, but not dress as chicken. I could sell ice it's to an Eskimo, Eskimo but not dress like a fucking chicken. chicken. She got really bogged down yeah. and thought about it too hard. Yeah. Because she starts having sort of like a crisis, you know, of conscious, and she's like, Oh my god, it's so stereotypical, like a black woman eating chicken. But this was really interesting when she was like, I don't even eat chicken, fried chicken in public. I don't eat chicken or, eat or watermelon, watermelon because in it's so stereotypical and people will like make comments and I'm like, that's fucked. Totally fucked. But also, you're on RuPaul's Drag Race. Girl, really? I don't eat watermelon in public because people are ignorant and people make comments. I know, girl, but... Good God, get a grip, girl. Because it's not that serious, really. You're a dude in a wig. Is fine. She doesn't have to do it as a joke, but I mean, I was like, oh my god, she should have totally gone the cannibal route and just been like, tastes like chicken. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. Like, Sharon would have done that. Sharon absolutely would have just done been that. like, mm, mm, tastes like chicken. It's like his arms. Just be like baby back ribs. Mm, you know, it's just like really get gross with it. But that is not really in Dita's mm, no. stratosphere. No. No. Her chicken of the month club. I mean, who else would think of Chicken, chicken of, the of the Month? month. <laughs> who else would think of Chicken of the Month? I haven't heard Oprah come up with it yet. Well. Yeah, it's Chicken of the Month for me. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Fifi uh, is trying to sell Rue. You know, I'm going to be real slutty and sexy, and it's oh, going to be yeah. slutty, and it's sexy, yeah. and it's, it's real sexy and slutty. I mean, that's all she was Because I think Fifi's sexy. Fifi's sexy. <laughs> and Rue was like, this is sounding an awful lot like that conversation we had where you said that Lady Gaga was really going to pop. Do you remember, remember that? that conversation? You remember that? When that happened? Talked about that. Phoebe's <laughs> just like, no, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be great. It's gonna be it's sexy. Gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be sexy. 
All right, get to work. All righty, thanks, Rue. Jiggly is, whether or not it's how, what percentage of Fifi got to her or whatever, she seems to be, and I mean, I think it was, everyone was bashing on her about her weight and the library and right. your weight and your weight, and then here's this health and fitness. Isn't that hilarious? Yeah. So yeah. I think it was like swirling around in her mind as well as Fifi being like, you should yeah. take it serious. And she talks to Rue about how she used to binge and purge her food and how that was unhealthy, obviously. Yeah. And I just think that when it comes to weight loss, it's not a joking matter. Don't joke about that. And Rue is sort of like, I mean... Or you could be funny, girl. I mean, she, she's like, but your name is Jiggly Caliente. Like, embrace it. Like, be funny. And she literally is like, be funny. Embrace the Jiggly. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm do, you hear, do you hear what I'm saying to you? Yeah. You're funny. Do that. Do it funny. Like she says, she's like, look at me, girl. Yeah. Do it funny. No, but like Jiggly, listen to me. Listen to what I am saying. Make it funny. And Jiggly's like, no, I think I'm going to stick to my guns and be serious. And you're like, eh. But then really do it. Sure. Then do a PSA about binging and purging and the trials of weight. Like, because what she ended up doing wasn't really like serious. It just no, wasn't No, she funny. ended up not being serious or funny. It, it was, was just, just like, eh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, battle of the bulge and take it like real serious then and be like, look, I've done like- It's a fight. Yeah. You know? My fight, my struggle against bulimia. Then if she had really had the conviction to just like fully go for it, they would have at least respected that. And sure. Like, I mean, it wasn't fun, but like you, shared with us and grew and exactly. were vulnerable and like it was all great. So then Rue goes to Latrice and she's like, um, you kind of made all this gossip about you. Oh. So I'm gonna go back to my research department. Yeah. It's supposed to be about celebrities and Latrice is just like, uh, uh, I'm gonna go back to my research department and um. I'm gonna regroup on this one. Yeah. <laughs> Rue really was leading people this episode. Like, she was just like, this is what I want you to do. This yeah. is what I mean yeah. by what I'm, yeah. you know. And they didn't really get there, though. Some people did Not really. ish and didn't. Not I feel really. like either they got it beforehand or they didn't. So then we get to the photo shoot with, oh, oh, oh my. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. Ooh, oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, my God. With a I nearly know. shirtless Jonathan Clay Harris? Yeah. Deep, 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 deep. It was like you could see the pack. Yeah, it was like down to here. Yeah, you look gorgeous. Yeah, you too. Oh, thank oh. you. Have you done porn? Um, not recently. Not well, that I'm aware of. You should really consider it. Have you done porn? <laughs> not recently. Maybe that I can recall. You should really consider it. <laughs> oh my God, she tries to. I mean, she does climb she this. Scales the cat. <laughs> the cat scratch. Sharon, get down from there, Sharon. Sharon, Sharon, we don't have, we have liability. You, you can't, no, you can't, you can't. In her like little Edie look. Oh, this was great. So cute. Yeah. I loved this. Yeah. I'm giving them real cunt face. <laughs> I was totally giving the camera nothing but legs, and I was giving them pure cunt face. Beautiful. It's <laughs> great. I loved this look. Oh yeah. I, I like, honestly thought Sharon should have won. This was my favorite. This yeah. was the funniest, the most creative. It was a toss up for me between her and Fifi's. Fifi's looked the most like a magazine that you would see like at the grocery store. I guess, but who cares about that? I like, agree. They kept being like, this doesn't look like a real magazine. I'm like, cause it's not. Cause it's not. All. Exactly. Was, like they gave them shitty photoshopping to do. So what are we even talking about? E exactly. Which one made me laugh? Which one had a concept that yep. I'm going to remember? Yeah. Who's the most? Yeah. Her kitty cat pussy outlook. Yep. Love it. Let's get a little more of that pussy in there. There you are. Beautiful. Right there. Then Jiggly comes out in this like athletic, where she looks like she's going to a yoga class. Sure. Well, what's your magazine cover that you're doing today? I'm doing, uh, well, I wish that she had a better wig or like that she'd done more with it. I wish she'd more done like a, like a high pony. Sure, with like a little, with like a little, uh, what's like, like scrunchy. a, a scrunchy? Yeah, it would have been cute. That would have been cute. Camp it up a little. Yeah, you exactly. You could be serious and not be, you know, boring. And then Chad. Elegans. Uh, this like Amelia Earhart safari. I don't know what was going on. It was wacky. I don't like. I don't know. I mean, I didn't hate it. It mm -mm. just totally didn't fit what she was doing at all. But I was like, I mean, not mad at this like 1930s ineffective safari look, like yeah. that you would never ever actually wear in the no. Sahara. But like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> With the goggles and the, the, the nose change in the Sorry. savanna, in the savanna. This nose chain yeah. and the piercing. I mean, it was like wacky. It was. Good. I mean, and then she had the, the jeweled 
kaleidoscope? Yeah, well, I mean, basically. She's talking to, oh, I really think this would just be like something a 1930s starlet would wear on the red carpet. Like, right. I could see Veronica Lake wearing this on the red carpet. I was like, absolutely not. No. Maybe like Veronica Lake in a remake of Red Dust or something. I don't know. So then Fifi, she's trying to do this like, uh, everything sexy, sexy pose. I got sexy. sexy. Ooh, here's my martini glass filled with glitter. I mean, I love this. Yeah. It's just full of loose glitter. Just like, whoa, God, one trip and it's a mess. She should have done like a, I mean, oh my god. For the last shot. Just sure. maybe it'll be cute. Sure. Try it, whatever. Woo, glitter everywhere. So then Latrice comes out. I mean, it was just like, touch the skin. Touch all of this skin. She's, she's just... She, she really took her eyes off the ball. Yeah. And put them on the balls. Yep. Literally. The boys, of course, is just for my sheer amusement and pleasure. Come do something. Come rub on me. Let me rub on you. These boys are here for my pleasure. You rub on me, I'm gonna rub on you. Yeah. I mean, and then he kept being like, Latrice, look at the camera. Yeah. Look at the look, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Uh, Sean's yeah. eyes just like, yeah. Uh, Latrice, Latrice, look, look at the camera. Latrice, look at me. Eyes at me, everyone. Eyes at me, sex in the face. Look at me. Having a little menage a trois on the couch. You know, it was all for Latrice. Yeah. Speaking of. Yes! Jesus is a biscuit. biscuit. Jesus is a biscuit. Biscuit. It's really fabulous. It's also available at moviebitches.threadless.com. Oh boy, and then Willem in this um, naked decorative. Strip, strip, strip down. Strip, uh, oh, yeah. Decor. Yeah, strip down decor. See, I thought that this was a good idea. Uh huh and could have been executed and would have been very good. It didn't end up that way. Nope. But she's got the lampshades on the pit crew and I was like, that's fun. Yep. I think she needed to figure out a, a sexier pillow. Yeah. She was holding like multiple pillows. Like, but like kind of all over. And I would have liked one like pillow here. One, ooh. And then one pillow, like, like, oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, two little ones. Yeah, two little ones. Or like a body pillow down the center. Oh my god, yes, like real oh. hourglass shape. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it just seemed like. She was covered in pillows. Instead of, ooh, titillating, I'm behind this pillow, it seemed like, oh no, you caught me naked in the yeah. house I'm selling and I'm a real estate agent and maybe I was fucking these guys and oops, you came early and we were having an orgy. It, it, it seemed like that. It was definitely that. <laughs> So then everyone's back in the workroom getting ready and gay marriage gets brought, brought up. up. What kills me is that they want to say that we're the ones destroying the institution of marriage, please. Yeah, that is bullshit. And then Latrice is bullshit. like, well, well we like, brought it up, so. I mean, I thought this was interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, Latrice is basically like, I don't think it should be called marriage because that is a very straight uh, heterosexual idea. For me, marriage describes a straight relationship, and I think we should be called something else. Call it something more fabulous. So she's basically saying, I'm fully for us all having the same rights and being equal. Yes. I don't think it should be called marriage. I went through a period of time where I thought the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I always felt like, particularly because I don't like religion being in the government. Right. I always felt like everything should be a civil union mm. and have all the same rights and sure. the, it's like you know it's exactly right. the same right and, and then if you, you want to get married, get married that's a religious ceremony that has absolutely nothing to do with two the legal recognition things. or anything else it's like okay oh, you want to go get married go get married and you do whatever church you want to get married and yeah. whatever I'm gonna have the same civil union that's required by the government in right. order to have like a household right. coupling recognition right. of a couple together. To me, that always seemed like the proper and logical thing to that do. That makes sense to me. But I also understood the argument of fair and equal. Right. If you're gonna call what I have something different than yours, then right. it's not equal. No. Even just if if it's sure. just in name, then it's always gonna be different. Sure. And so then it's easier to be looked at as less than. Right. You know? I fully support gay divorce. <laughs> Well, and we didn't talk about Latrice's royale wedding that just happened. Oh, that just happened. So there you go. I love that, too, that they were all like, oh, watch, Latrice is going to be the one that got married before all of us. Now she did. I mean, maybe. I don't know. The I don't know who else has gotten married. The status of the rest of the sure. cast. But yes, sure. she just had her royale wedding. Yes. It's fabulous. Yes. So quick commercial break, and then we'll be back with the runway and uh, lip sync and untucked. <laughs> So Rue walks in looking 
gorgeous. Okay, I loved this. I loved this. Tool, tool, yes. tool, tool. Like a kind of iridescent almost well, because it was, it was like, like purple a, and blue and black. Yeah, it was like ombre. Um, there was different colors yes. mixed in there and the volume and she it was just, gorgeous. it was really pretty. It was really beautiful. Really this windswept, I loved that. How do you get your hair you to do that? Without the like fan. A, yeah. You have to show me how you create the hair blowing without the fan. <laughs> <laughs> so the category is glossy glamour launch party looks. Yeah. I don't think any of them knew that. No, that seemed like something they told. I mean, like, Willem they announced it earlier, but, like, honestly, it didn't seem like anyone adhered, adhered to that. Not really. Not really. First down the runway is Sharon Needles in this black and white graphic dress. This was very, like, glam for Sharon. For like, Sharon. goth glam. You know, she looked like demonic Priscilla Presley or something <laughs> sure. with this big hair. Yeah. She kept her lenses in. Yes. I guess I'm just used to it. Regina I, yeah, King was right. like, oh, freaking me out. Like, she'd never seen that. I kind of wish she had red ones, because the whole time I was just Ooh. like, what's black, white, and red all over? Because it's a newspaper you. magazine. I love it. Like I love it. That would have been even creepier. Yes. But I love it. Yeah. Because then she could have said that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was going for a black, white, and red all over. like, <laughs> Brent is dead. <laughs> The next was Dita Ritz, and I thought her face and hair looked pretty good. The yeah. hair was a little flat. Super flat. Yeah. Better, it looked less dry. Yeah, so the wig looked nice, but I just was like, girl, get it, tease it, give some volume. Get, it up, and, it yeah, up. get it, get it. Well, she, well, she serpentines down the runway. Oh, yes, she does. <laughs> Shelly! Serpentine! 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 <laughs> serpentine! serpentine! She's wearing this like silver dress that I thought was just kind of whatever. It looked kind of cheap was, to me. It was fine. It was like a silver cocktail dress. It was okay. It was okay. This was all fine. Fine. Just safe. You know, I didn't like the shoes. They didn't really go with it. This was safe borderline bottom. Yeah. Which is kind of where she was. You know, it was like, exactly. oh, you're lucky that other people were worse. worse. So the next on the runway is Chad Michaels in this Susan Powder look. I really liked this. I really liked this. It was very like rock star. I mean, aged, I'm not really doing drugs anymore rock star. A little bit. You know? Sure, sure. In this Dennis the Menace wig. I mean, I liked it, but also it was terrible. It, I don't know. It worked. She made it work. I think the fact that you say Susan Powder to me is like, oh, maybe she was getting glamorous goody launch party, whatever the fuck the challenge was. Oh, glitzy, glamour, launch party look. Uh, yeah. Gl glossy, 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 glamour, glossy. Launch, launch party look. Yeah, like this oh, is kind of, powder. it's not very glossy. It's like, her, like her, uh, her biography. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, well, I'm watching a new tape, here we are, you know, like whatever. Sure. I, I get it, I get it. Sure. So the next is Latrice motherfucking Royale in the infamous uh, couch, couch dress. dress. I mean, I I liked it. I, it's kind of like this tiger eye. Yeah, it was like know, this sort of different burnt siennas. Sure. This velvet. And it looked really good, particularly the upper half, I thought, yeah. looked great with her makeup and everything the else. The jewels, like yeah. it all, the, it was all, the whole thing was a tiger eye. It was uh, very yeah. like amber, you know. Yeah, ooh. yeah. And I actually liked this. I didn't mind it, was, I think. I mean, there was a lot of fabric and it's a heavy it, fabric. That's the key. But I didn't think it looked particularly bad. I don't think it's her best look, but I didn't no. think it was bad. I thought it was one of her better looks. I agree. Because it had structure, yep. you know, it looked like it was made for her. I think the big thing is Santino chose his words poorly. Well, I think he was trying to be like a sassy bitch. I think he was, but also I get what he's saying. Like, it looks like that lazy boy couch fabric. Yes. The fabric itself. But it's tough because that's a very sensitive line where you're like, you look like a sofa. Right. Fuck you. Somehow she pulled it off for me. Like it looked really good with her skin tone. It still looked glamour, it still somehow. It looked glamorous, yes. So. It looked glossy glamour, would you say? Glossy glamour launch party, yes. <laughs> so the next was a Willem in this just like cute, girly, Flirty, see-through flapper dress. See-through pink dress. Yeah. With this cute little updo. You know, I thought that she looked pretty and cute. I mean, again, the five o'clock shadow is an issue, and yep. they do mention it, finally. and they finally talk about it. But I thought this was perfectly cute. She embodied that like vapid heiress, you know, yes. which is kind of her thing. Yes. But it sort of worked. Like Paris Hilton would wear this to her book launch party. Sure. You know. Sure. It's like. Oh, here I guess that's true. Made, you know, basically fine. nothing. Yeah, that's fair. So I, I didn't love it, but I was like, oh, you look cute. Yeah, 
The next is Jiggly Caliente. She comes out in this canary yellow, you know, asymmetrical dress with this sort of like uh, Swarovski yeah, crystal bodice. bodice. I thought the dress was nice. Somehow the color of the dress with the blonde that she had on and the makeup yeah. all clashed. Yeah, I didn't think it, it worked particularly it well together. It complement each other. I agree. Like I, like, I thought the dress was probably the best dress that yes. she had. Yes, But like somehow the whole thing was not complementary to each other. I agree. So then last on the runway was Miss Fifi O'Hara. And you really didn't like this. I hated this. She <laughs> came out and I was like, oh god, it looked so costumey. It looked like a weird gladiator toga cocktail waitress outfit. Well, it was like, it was like Betty Rubble goes to the discotheque. You yeah, know? <laughs> yes, it was like very, it, it was, was uneven hem. Yeah, short and... I thought the palette all went together. Sure. I thought her body looked good. Yes. Like she really got the body right the this week. Yes. And everything sort of was complimentary to each, other, to each other, so I think that's why they all really liked it. I you agree. Know, it she like, seemed to have implemented she's things. Improving, that they, yeah. She's improving. She's listening, you know, to what they're saying. I still didn't love it. No. In this like teal leopard print. It was so tacky that fabric. This was just gross. It was like to real me. housewife Z. She's really into looking either like some sort of space yep. sci-fi. Yeah. <laughs> like. That's Slut, true. Or like a real housewife. Yeah, that's Those true. Are like the two. That's her two looks. So then they go through the covers. Right. And Chad is first, yeah. and they're all like, "We wouldn't have known what magazine this was for. Like, what kind of magazine?" This right, Eleganza, and it's her just like, you Looking know, and you're crazy. like, "What is this?" She tries to explain like, "Oh, I was going for like drag cougars." Right. And that's why I went for the animal safari. And also because older women want these kind of fashions. I was confused and it didn't make sense. I wasn't sure about no. it. I wasn't sure. It was a mistake. Yeah. I think she just wanted to wear this outfit. I think so. If, if she had she had a travel she... magazine, it would have been perfect. Exactly. Oh, you're going on a sexy safari. Yeah, it's like cougar safari for cougars who want to go on a safari. Like, Love it. Here for this. Love it. Love yeah. it. Right? That would yes. have been great. That would have been great. And then Dita's cooking, what was it? It tastes like chicken? Right. Um, and then it was funny. Pam T Tillis is like, all I saw was stop, because it was yeah. like, stop, over salting your food. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like huge. It was. It was bad graphic design. I don't know who decided I mean, what. I, I kind of wanted to see them like, I mean, obviously they weren't literally photoshopping it, but like they were probably leaning over the shoulder of some lowly photoshopper yes. being like, do this. Um, but I kind of would have liked to have seen that. A little bit. They never show us that. I'm like, no. kind of like, why? Yeah. I want to know. Yeah, but particularly tell. because in this instance, they were praising and chastising people based right. off of their font choices and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's like, well, didn't you have someone helping them? Is Fifi really going through and picking the fonts? And Maybe. I mean, if I so, I'd like know. to see that, yeah. you know? So the next was Sharon and Kitty Girl or Kitty Cat. Kitty Cats. Kitty Cats. Kitty Cats. I thought this was hilarious. I love this. Yeah. I thought it was really funny and striking and memorable. I mean, I love that Regina King is just like, and I want to know how many is too many. Well, I'm talking about cats. You're a pervert. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Regina King was awesome. Yeah. And seemed like a great judge. Yep. Here for the right reasons. Like, yep. got the show. Yep. And was real fun and silly. Is it the best one or is it just the best because all the other ones were really bad? <laughs> Did it look like the most professional because everything else was so bad? <laughs> Up next is Latrice Raël, and I forget who, maybe, maybe Michelle is basically like, you look like a madam. Yeah. You got two prostitutes, and you are their madam, and you're like... <laughs> And then she was so right, it, like, it really looked like one of those pamphlets that they slap. The it, club like, flyers. Like, you, know, yeah. you know, like when you like, walk down the strip in Las Vegas and they're like, you want this thing? Like, or they strippers! Or your, you your car. And yeah, and you're like, God, leave me alone. I don't, trust me, that you're barking up the wrong tree, dude. I'm not interested. <laughs> well, you would be interested in this flyer. Maybe. It looks like a couch from Rena Center. And Santino says that she looks like a couch, and you can tell Latrice is like, oh, bitch. Oh, yeah. And then they're sort of talking about how they think she has too many jewels on, and then her oh, bracelet, bracelet breaks. It was like she was oh. having a rough night. It was a rough night, and Willem like crouching down, like picking yeah. up all the beads. I was like, what is happening right now? Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then Willem's was a mess too. Everyone hated Willem. 
problems. It was a mess. But like, they were like, we hate this, basically. It was really bad. It was a clusterfuck. Like, it just was such a mess. I couldn't yeah, even picked... figure out what it was supposed to be. The background was like non-existent. Why... I don't know why they picked this picture. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was bad. Yeah, it they, was really bad. They did not care for it. And I, I yeah. think it was one of the worst. Oh, for sure. I hate the font. Me too. Okay. Like she tries to just like joke it off and yeah. they were like, They were like, no, but girl. yeah. She really was trying to joke it off and they're like, and they're no, like, but, no, but like we're actually going to criticize you this time. Yeah. And like we kind of need you to start listening. Yeah. And this is when Michelle really calls out Willem's five o'clock shadow and she's like, girl. And Willem's trying to be like, Wah. like, yeah, touch back. the skin. And Michelle is just like, I'm trying to help you. Yeah. You see the shadow again tonight? Touch this. Touch all of this. I'm trying to help because you're the only one that has it. So then Jiggly and her battle of the bulge. I mean, this was. Fine. I thought this was fine. It was not the worst one. I don't know why some of them decided to just have a white background. Sure. I don't know what that, you know. Why not have like a, a gym or a fighting ring or something silly? Something. Yeah. I don't know. Something to make it at least more visually engaging. What the hell would I write about how to eat a pound of chicken? Exactly. That's funny. Oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, I don't find that funny. No, but, but Rue's Rue like, that's funny. Oh, damn. Oh. And then Fifi. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and then last was Fifi, and they just loved every single bit of it and ate it up. Yeah, they really did. The fucking spoon. I mean, this definitely did look the most like a magazine that you would find at the grocery store. Sure. Um, you know, who cares? Why does that matter? Right. Well, sure. But it was like the most professional looking. Yeah. It was clever. She was funny with her yeah. little quotes. It was she was good. Yeah. But just, they just ate it up. They really did. I mean, I just really, I mean, I've always loved Regina King, but like, I was like, yes. When she calls out Willem's robotic style, she's like, it was kind of creepy. You know, I would like not look at her for a while and then I'd look back and she'd still be just. It was kind of creepy. I kept like looking over <laughs> to see, all right, okay, 20 minutes has passed while I'm, she was still. <laughs> yeah, that don't move. Fifi wins. Yep. And Jiggly and Willem have to lip sync to Mi Vida Loca yeah. by Pam Tillis. This was fine. This was fine. I mean, I don't think this is like a fabulous lip sync song. No. It's cute. I think it helped. Like Willem literally looked like a young country music sure. star and she was really just being flirty and like putting up the like, yeah. I'm cute. Dog. Yeah, let me yeah. ham it up and oh, it tossed a dime and whatever. So yeah, it was like, like it fit on her and yeah. it felt like she embodied the song yeah, more. And Jiggly like, had, you know, more trouble with the lyrics. I mean, this is maybe my favorite thing Jiggly has ever said. I love it. God damn, you couldn't give me a little Kim song? Love it. I mean, and then Willem is just like gleefully spinning Swirling. and her ass, ass is, is just out. getting blurred, yeah. blurred, blurred, blurred. I wish I had worn panties, but I didn't know I was gonna be the bottom. <laughs> it made me laugh. There must have spent so much money blurring out her oh pussy. Oh my God. <laughs> Like it was just all over the place. But yeah, overall, it was a fairly forgettable lip sync. Yeah. Um, they both did fine. So Jiggly goes home and yeah. Willem stays. So another commercial break and we will be right back. <laughs> so this week on Untucked. Ooh, yeah. I didn't love this one. No. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of ugly. It wasn't fun. It wasn't fun? Yeah. Um, or funny? No. Really? Mm-mm. Well, so there's that. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, end of video. No, no, no. no. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um, I mean, they spend a lot of time uh, with Jiggly. Yes. Again. Do not raise your voice at me. We are talking to you but as your friend. Don't treat me like a child. I'm not I'm treating you like a child. Maybe you should wait to have these conversations with her in a smaller group or mm -hmm. whatever. But when it's like, well, Jiggly, you don't do this. You don't do this. You didn't feel like this. You didn't do this. You were, the, you know, it's like, yeah. it, it's aggressive. And of course she's going to get defensive. And of course she's going to get emotional and whatever. And so it's like, that's not the best way to get her to listen. No. I think they all seem to have had it. Yes. And they all come in and, and everyone's like, oh, Phoebe, like, obviously you're going to win because they, like, fucking loved everything about you. If you win a cruise, I'm going to bitch slap you. Latrice is pissed at Santino. She is not having it. She is like, there's a difference between like criticism, which I am fully yeah. here for, and insulting somebody. I'll give him a, one more time. I'll give him one more no, time. No. And, but when he crosses that line again, I'm going to lay him sure. out. And I get that. Again, yeah. like I said, I think Santino didn't choose his words properly. He was trying to be funny. Yeah. He was trying to be like Michael Kors. Yeah. Like, oh my God, it looks like this couch from like, you know, whatever, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. 
but it didn't, hey, didn't go over well. No. And I mean, this is like, I mean, this is pretty, this is the best part of it, Untucked. That's this one for sure. I mean, right? Take your hat off, bitch. You, you balding, balding bitch. bitch. Take off your hat, bitch. You're balding Ooh. bitch. Take your hat off. Lay him out. Oh my God. Willem's like, why? Who cares? Just paint him right now. It doesn't right. matter. But <laughs> and Latrice is like, no, because no. I'm better than yeah. that. I will give him one more yeah. chance. Because she's a lady. Because I'm Latrice's motherfucking right Love that. That was amazing. Yes. She's like, well, you know, Jiggly, the thing that really brought me back was when Rue was like, well, you might have had an off night, but you're Latrice Royale. And I was she's like, like, yes, bitch, you are I right. Am. And then she's like, I am motherfucking Latrice motherfucking Royale. That man, fuck a duck, suck it up. You're motherfucking Latrice motherfucking Royale. That's right, boo-boo, that's it. That is who I am, huh? So, uh, let's talk about Willem's beard. <laughs> right? I mean... Really funny. Yeah. Also, Willem was not having it. Oh my god, right? Willem was, it was interesting because Willem really can't take criticism. No. If I were you, whatever you're covering this up with, you need to cover around here as well. If I were me, next week I'm gonna wear a burqa. You know, and it's like I'll try and deflect a few times and then if right. they weren't having it and it's like we're still gonna critique you, then it's like, uh-uh, she's out. Well, because it was interesting because Sharon reveals that like Willem has been using women's makeup yes. and not drag queen pancake yes. makeup. You're gonna have to face facts and start using pancake makeup like the rest of us. Oh boy, so then Rue comes on the TV and yes. uses this another pink box. Oh, what else does Kenya have to say? <laughs> And so it's all of like the reject photos. Yeah, so they, all, they show the actual cover shoot and then like the reject photos. Yeah. And I mean, Chad looks insane. Chad looks like the mother from Dante's Cove. She's got the crazy eyes. Yeah. It was, it was crazy. It was I did crazy like that they all talked about her Bob Mackie dildo. Oh my god. That looks like a dildo by Bob Mackie. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Mackie made dildos, trust. That was what they would look like. Stoned and beat it to death. Did you stone that dildo yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Valentina, your dildo is fabulous. <laughs> so yeah, they're going through all of the photos and then they start to realize that like Jason Oh my god. Is just really? I fucking the camera. Face, face fuck the camera, Latrice. <laughs> face fuck the camera, Latrice. What? He is just face fucking that camera every single shot. Yeah. And they're like, oh yeah. And then they keep going, they're like, wait a minute. Like, <laughs> wait, he really <laughs> is. Yeah. Like, he's really stealing every shot right now. Mmm, <laughs> smoldering yes, look. Yeah. He really knows how to ham it yeah, up. Yeah, he does. He really hams it up. It's just fun. Well, and this was weird. They're about to do Sharon's photo and then like Fifi burps. Uh, excuse me. And for some reason, they like take a minute to like show everyone's reaction and yeah. be like, I don't know. What were you trying to say? You burped during Sharon's photo. I don't know. It was weird. It was odd. But then they show Sharon. Oh my, oh my God. So then they show Sharon's reject photo. I was like, why didn't you use that one? It's just her being like her basic it's instinct. It's so good. Holding two. Look at my pussies. Oh, it's three so, of them. It's you know, so it's good. Like, oh, I wish they used that one. It would have been so good. It would have, then she would have won. Yeah, maybe. There he is. And it was like, your pussy's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like it. It would've been good. Yeah. I would've yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, my face looks good. Willem, your friend five o'clock, he's back. They talk more about Willem's beard and Michelle, yeah. and, and and Willem's like, well, you know, it was just Michelle that said that she could see my Only beard. Only one person. Exactly. No one else has ever seen my beard before, and it's never been a problem, and Rue said that she couldn't see it. And then Phoebe's so shady, just goes, well, Rue wasn't wearing her glasses. <laughs> Rue also didn't have her glasses on. Bitch. I loved it so much. It was good. It was really good. Everyone basically says, Jiggly, you gave up. Yes. In different ways. Yes. Everybody says it. Yes. And we get to see more of the confessional stuff and like, the real, like, it was maniacal. Her, it really like, was. you should do it serious. She took my advice when I said, you know, you should really take this seriously. And she fell for it. Ah, I told her. I really tripped her up, and because like yeah, because Chad is like, look, girl, I told you, right. make it funny. You didn't listen. I'm not to trying me. to be. I don't know why you yeah. didn't listen or whatever. And I was like, well, I mean, you do know why, because Fifi was right there and said it right after you. But whatever. Yes. Fifi was a bitch. <laughs> and there's no other way, you know. I mean, she was a full mean she was spirited, loud and proud about being literally a manipulative being, bitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then Dita. 
I mean, it seems like Dita and Jiggly have gotten pretty close, mm -hmm. and Dita is pretty over it, and it's just like... You have to believe in yourself. You have to. I, this is a, I want you to believe in yourself because you are an amazing human being. Amazing. Dita's just like, you know, you need to learn how to love yourself and yeah. be your own champion, and we all know, and we all see that you're fabulous, but you don't believe it, and like, you have to believe in yourself first. And Jiggly is sort of trying to say like, oh, well, I keep it 100%. I don't, yeah. I, I don't want to lie and say that like, oh, I didn't mess up when I did, and that's always been my motto, and, you know, she's kind of acting like she's ready to go, and ish, and yeah. Willem is like... Save us all some time and heels when they ask you to lip sync and say, I'm cool, I'm bouncing, all right? Um, this was weird to me, where it was just kind of like, everyone was really coming for her for this idea and this mindset, and I was yeah. like, I respect that. I don't know, rather uh, than trying to bullshit them and be like, Oh, well, no, I really meant to have my cover be... Yeah, like, there's a way, I mean, I think some of them were saying, like, make a joke about it or spin it in a sure. way that, like, um, endears them to you, even yes. though you fucked up. Yes. Um, but yeah, this whole idea of, like, you have to pretend, like... Like, everything you do fine, is perfect? And everything you do is perfect. I was like, no, 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 I agree with Jiggly on this one. Exactly. Well, I thought she had a point where she's like, I don't want, then I'm just going to embarrass myself more. And I was like, you're right. If you know you're wrong, you're wrong, and that's it. I'm a grown bitch. I know when I fuck up. You don't want to look delusional. Right. And be like, no, I thought I was perfect and everything was great and you shouldn't eliminate me because you're not going to do yourself a favor that way either. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Whereas if you're like, you know what? I took a different route with it because I thought that was what was going to be best for me. And it, I guess it wasn't as successful as either of us would have liked. You know? Yeah. No, I respected her for that. Yeah, I did too. So after Willem is just like, why don't you just fucking give up and tell them you want to leave? This is when we get the like. You tell no, me that. no, 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 hold up! None of you motherfuckers got that. Tell me like I am not the one to yell at. None of you motherfuckers know that I was, you know, yeah. I'm trying to give up or whatever. Yeah. She starts yelling at everyone, and Dita is just like, "Bitch, I'm don't done. you yell at me? Yeah. I'm trying to help you." Yeah. And she's just like, she keeps being like, "I love you. I can't do this anymore. Yeah. I love you. I, I can't. I'm over. I'm done. I love you." But no. <laughs> I just, I can't. I can't do this anymore. I love you. I can't do this anymore. I love you, and this may make you hate me. I don't care. To Fifi, she has a real moment. Like, I don't know how you do it. Like, I don't know how, with both of our similar backgrounds of abuse, how you get up every morning yeah. and you're just seemingly okay. Yeah. And Fifi's like, I'm not okay. I have to work on it every day. I want to prove that I'm a strong person and right. like that other people who are going through what I went through can see that like you can get out on the other side and like be a strong, powerful person and like own it and not let your childhood like define you. And I was like, yeah, great. Yeah. I'm a fighter and you can be a fighter too. This is great, Fifi. Yeah. Oh no. And then you go to the other direction and you're like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, exactly. go home, bitch. Exactly. Like, oh, nah. now you're perpetuating like, oh God, oh. I'm preying on your weakness. Right? Ah! Yikes. You know, it's a little. I'm bullying you from behind your back while I'm pretending to be a friend. It's real ugly. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, Jiggly sort of calms down and she apologizes to Dita. Yeah, that was very mature and she said, you know, I apologize all the time. Like, I take it, I take responsibility for my actions and I've always right. said, like, when I fucked up a, a Smash game. game and whatever, I apologize to you guys and that's the best that I can do and, like, whatever else. But I was like, you know what? I was like, yeah, for you, girl. I'm here for it. Yeah. She has like a real emotional maturity in that way. I was that like, way, yeah. I was impressed. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, again, again, Sharon is the queen of changing the subject and the tone of the room and making it like fun again. Yes. And so Sharon goes, I know, right? It's so embarrassing. Like today when I was out on the runway and I farted in front of everyone. And I squeaked my heel across the stage so people would just think it was my shoe. <laughs> You know, er, er, scoot my, my, my heel, heel like so maybe they would think that it was that. Just, did you hear? I fart. I mean, it was that silence and I farted. Did you hear it? <laughs> Stupid. It was so silly. So there you have it. Another silly episode. Right. Oh my gosh. Um. You know, Jiggly is gone, but we will move on. <laughs> sure. Pretty much across the board, everyone was a mess. Like it seemed like everyone got taken down a peg. Like Latrice being like, "Girl, we all have oh, bad yeah. days." Yeah. Myself included. Yeah. You know, like, and we have to grow from this and move on. So yeah. I think everyone kind of had a bad week because last week was like a hugely creative. Yes. Boat decorate. Bum, yeah. Bum. And yeah. then it was like now you have you to have do to a magazine. Creative, so yeah. There's a lot of like um, brain power, originality, originality and, yeah. You know? So it yeah. was like two tough challenges back yeah. to back. So cheers. cheers. We'll see you next week. Subscribe and share. Oh. <laughs> Latrice motherfucking Royale. That's right, boo-boo. That's it. That is who I am, huh? <laughs>